Nearly a week after gun violence shattered Great Mills High School in St. Mary's County, hundreds of people came together today to support the family of 16-year-old Jalen Willie. She's one of two students killed in the incident. Willie was taken off life support Thursday after being shot. The shooter was also killed. Devin Bartolotta reports more on how this tight-knit community is now forever changed. The rain held off in Southern Maryland Sunday, if only to make way for tears and heartache. Yeah. We're like a family, yeah. all conjoined together. The Great Mills community still grieving less than a week after a school shooting claimed two lives came together at a peace rally as one. Whether you went to school there or not, it's our school, it's your school. So that's all part and parcel of what this community is all about. The, the fabric that runs through it is to rally behind each other and get everybody through this and support the family. This week, the Willie family said goodbye to their 16 year old daughter, Jay Lynn. Tuesday at school, she was shot in the head, and 14 year old classmate Desmond Barnes was shot in the leg. Police say by 17 year old Austin Rollins, who later died. Between hugs and handshakes, the community thanked a line of first responders, many of them graduates of Great Mills themselves. After what happened on Tuesday, I felt like I was alone. Today, this just shows me how much support is. Here for us. People question the young people that marched yesterday. And I say, you can't question them. If they have something on their hearts, you may not agree with it, but they're the ones who have to sit in these schools. A community together working through the kind of trauma a small town doesn't soon forget. That was Devin Bartolotto reporting. Desmond Barnes's mom says that her son is resting and doing well. Meanwhile, a fundraising page for Jalen's family has raised more than $91,000.